57 year old Gary Sampson is back before a judge for a retrial after being convicted 13 years ago for killing two men in 2001. It's really hard because that's not something I want to listen to again. I've heard it before. I... You know, it's like it's just a flood of memories coming back, and we're going through this again, and I still don't understand why. Mike Rizzo and Scott McCloskey are family members of two men who Sampson murdered in Massachusetts. It's just hard. It's hard for all of us. I mean, we've been through this already. It's been 13 years now since he's been convicted and we got to go through this all again. It's tough. It's tough for every single one of us. During opening statements, federal prosecutors named the two victims, Philip McCloskey and Jonathan Rizzo. Prosecutors say Sampson carjacked the cars of McCloskey and Rizzo and then murdered them in Massachusetts, both of which are federal crimes. They also mentioned Robert Whitney, who Sampson was separately convicted of killing at a lakeside home in Meredith, New Hampshire. Prosecutors want the death penalty for Sampson, saying he murdered three innocent people, while the defense team wants life in prison without parole. The defense is arguing that Sampson had excessive head injuries growing up, which affected his decision making. They are trying whatever they can try to, to generate some sympathy or empathy for this guy. And, I don't know any of us who have not fallen down the stairs or fallen off our bikes. We didn't have helmets when we were growing up. It happened to all of us, and we didn't all turn out this way. The first trial, I could have sworn that they said he fell off a ladder. Now he fell down the stairs. So I don't know where, where it's coming from, where they get their information. He was supposedly four at the time. So who knows what they're coming up with. Family members of Robert Whitney were also in court today, but they declined to comment. The trial will resume tomorrow at 9 a.m. Reporting in Boston, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.